Life on Earth has already had to deal with several catastrophic setbacks. More than once, a large part of all living beings became extinct. 4.6 billion years have passed since our blue planet formed, and it took only a few hundred million years for unicellular organisms to form. The first mass extinction occurred approximately 2.4 billion years ago. This is called the Great Oxidation Event. Because the oxygen we inhale was produced by anaerobic organisms as a toxic byproduct of photosynthesis, and this oxygen accumulated in the atmosphere over time, a large part of the previously formed organisms could not cope with it and died out or withdrew into oxygen-free niches. Since the Cambrian explosion, the starting point of the diversity of life on our planet 541 million years ago, at least five other major extinctions occurred. These had different causes. First, the so-called Ordovician Silurian extinction event happened 450 to 440 million years ago. And at that time, most of the complex multicellular organisms lived in the sea. A study by the University of Hull in England from May 2020 concluded that global warming was responsible for this wipeout event of life because widespread volcanic eruptions unleashed enough carbon dioxide to heat up the planet. Then the late Devonian extinction occurred 375 to 360 million years ago. Although it is clear that this event happened, the time span and cause of this event is uncertain. Therefore, some scientists suggested that not a single event, but rather a series of events are responsible. In addition to a whole range of terrestrial causes such as megavolcanism or a sudden overthrow of the entire climate system, extraterrestrial dangers could also be the cause. The radiation of a nearby supernova or even a gamma ray burst are only two possible causes. Thereby, the ozone layer of the Earth would be destroyed by the gamma rays within a few seconds, while also years after the event, UV radiation could reach the Earth's surface unhindered. And not only that, because the gamma rays, the most energetic radiation, would harm the cell tissues of all living things and cause a great mass death on land. But that's not all. Although living creatures in the deep sea could escape this cosmic bombardment, but not the plankton at the ocean's surface, which would irreparably damage the food chain in the sea, which is why a mass death would occur here as well. 252 million years ago, the Permian-Triassic extinction event happened, which is also known as the Great Dying, because this was the biggest wipeout of life on our planet, and between 90 to 96% of all species extinct. Among them, such successful creatures as the trilobites. It is possible that a chain of events was set in motion that led to this devastating catastrophe. At that time, the land masses were united on the supercontinent Pangaea. First, it seems that the intensive volcanic activity in today's Siberia increased the temperature, and this led to the gasification of methane hydrate. Since methane is an even more potent greenhouse gas than CO2, this led to an even greater rise in temperature, which was responsible for the devastating mass extinction. This was followed by the Triassic-Jurassic extinction event 201 million years ago. The cause of this event is still debated. Some scientists favor a climate change or sea level fluctuations. Others think more of an extraterrestrial impact. But so far, no impact crater could be identified which would be large enough to be responsible. An impact supposedly leaves the best traces because a crater with a diameter of several kilometers is hard to miss. But this is not necessarily so because if the cosmic bullet is too big, it can fall to Earth without leaving a crater if the Earth's crust is broken through because the magma would flow out of the Earth's interior and fill the crater again. But a crater is not the only indication of an impact because the force of the impact whirls up tons of stones and dust and thus spreads over the whole globe, which is why the Earth would darken very quickly, because the sunlight cannot shine through the resulting dust layer and a climate change, a so-called nuclear winter, occurs. Then came the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event 66 million years ago, which is best known for the end of the dinosaur, except for the birds. This event was caused by an asteroid impact which created the Chicxulub crater in the Gulf of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Some scientists also speculated about other causes, like the erupting volcanoes at the Indian subcontinent. But a 180-kilometer-wide crater is hard to argue away. Through this impact, forests burn to the ground, and the oceans acidified. But mammals also get their chance to become the dominant species. 
As we mentioned in another video, the climate on Earth is changing again, and this time is mainly our fault. Therefore, it's possible that a new extinction event is coming up. Thank you for your attention. If you like this video, check out our other videos about science.